From where we go, go live to a key member of the president's legal team, Jenna Ellis. Thank you for joining us. What's the latest with the Trump campaign? And uh, thank you so much. And the Trump campaign, and in particular in Pennsylvania, where more than 20 Pennsylvania state representatives recently backed calls disputing the state's election results. Can you give us the latest here? Yeah, so we're very excited that uh, the Pennsylvania legislature, led by uh, Doug Mastriano and others, uh, there are almost 30 legislators now that are co-signers of this resolution that will use their Article 2, Section 1.2 authority uh, to make sure that they don't go along with an irredeemably corrupted election. And so this is exactly why our founders put that provision in Article 2. And uh, to follow up on what Jack was just reporting, uh, it's really important to note that uh, there are multiple vehicles to make sure that either the Supreme Court uh, directs the state legislature to fulfill their duty or the, or the state legislature can do that themselves. And that's why it's so incredibly important that the Pennsylvania legislature allowed us that hearing last week, and now they are moving forward with this uh, resolution that they are going to not certify those election results, and they are going to make sure to name their delegates uh, according to the constitutional process to make sure that none of their constituents in Pennsylvania are disenfranchised through a corrupt election. We're hopeful that as Pennsylvania leads the way, then other states, including Arizona, Michigan, um, Nevada, others in Georgia, will also recognize how corrupt this election uh, was and also take back their delegates to make sure that we, the people, genuinely get to select and prefer our president. And we're confident that when every legal vote is counted, of course, Donald Trump won, and this is the constitutional process to remedy that corrupted election. Right, certainly. Right, and, certainly. Uh, and you uh, earlier this week that it's on to the Supreme Court. Would you still say you're working toward a path to victory? Absolutely. And again, there are multiple vehicles. Uh, and ways to get to the Supreme Court that may be through the Third Circuit, that may be through uh, other means. And certainly uh, the, the emphasis on the state legislatures is incredibly important because they are the entity that is vested with constitutional authority to make sure that the delegates who actually go to the Electoral College, and that's the method by which we choose our American president, that they do that uh, by a means that is not corrupted and they make sure as the direct representatives for their state and for their people that they do that in a method that's according to the Constitution and don't just certify a corrupt election result. Right. And speaking of integrity, right. switch, switching to Arizona, I understand your team has set up a public hearing on election integrity in Phoenix for Monday. Can you tell us a little bit more about that and what you were seeking to accomplish? Yes, yeah, so uh, this is a few days behind Pennsylvania, but basically we expect to uh, mirror very similarly what we accomplished in Pennsylvania last week uh, by putting forth witnesses and testimony and expert testimony in Arizona about what happened uh, to their election and why uh, this is irredeemably compromised in Arizona as well. And we're hopeful that after that hearing, uh, Arizona will also uh, mirror Pennsylvania by taking back their delegates and making sure that they don't certify a corrupt process. So um, it's really encouraging, I think, that as President Trump has continued uh, to back the election integrity process to make sure that as the president of the United States, he protects and preserves our constitutional republic Public, that state legislators are taking notice and they're uh, they're looking at all of the evidence and the witnesses that we're bringing forth. We've really been denied an evidentiary hearing anywhere in the court process. Uh, that's really unfortunate. That should never happen in the judicial branch. And so we're taking this directly to legislators who want to hear this, who want to hear from witnesses, see our evidence. And so we're very excited to put that forward on Monday in Arizona. And the president has been speaking out about this. He tweeted just this morning thinking, quotes, all the brave men and women in state houses who are defending our great constitution. Could you tell us how the president is holding up throughout this process? Yeah, so I speak with him um, along with the mayor multiple times a day. And, uh, you know, he is uh, really invested in making sure that not just the outcome of this election is safe and secure and is not corrupted, but he understands that this is about the future of America and protecting and preserving our constitutional republic and our process to make sure that uh, we don't have corrupt elections. And so he is committed to doing that on behalf of the American people. He's always been the president of America for 
first to make sure that the Constitution is protected and preserved. And so he is 100 percent behind this. And I am so proud of this president uh, that President Trump is completely behind protecting election integrity and making sure that the people and these corrupt election officials from governors to secretaries of state all the way down to these local election officials, that they don't get away with this and that they are uh, that they are put under the spotlight to to be on notice that uh, the Republicans and President Trump, led by President Trump, are not going to allow this because this will impact the future of our country and we have to preserve and protect free and fair elections. Yeah, the, pres the, the president pres has certainly made it clear he is behind a free and fair election. Now, before I let you go, is there anything else that you would like to add? Yeah, thank you so much for that that question. And I think that there's just so much misinformation between all of the mainstream media outlets. I'm really grateful to OAN uh, for actually giving me the opportunity to come on and uh, explain what's going on, explain the constitutional process, um, explain why these state legislators are actually fulfilling their constitutional duty. So I would just tell the American people, don't listen uh, to the mainstream media, don't listen to these pundits, don't listen to the Twitterati who are out there trying to just pretend that uh, you know this is all over, or they're giving misinformation, or they're giving you bad advice on the Constitution. Uh, make sure that you pay attention to what Team Trump is putting out, to what the president is saying and make sure that you're following up on that because there is so much misinformation out there. We have a really great opportunity right now to protect and preserve our U.S. Constitution. And again, we're so grateful to these state legislators for stepping up and understanding their constitutional responsibility. All right, Jenna Ellis, right, Jenna. a key member of the president's legal team. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much.